right. So the host, you're asking about age of consent laws? Yeah, yeah. What, was you, what did you want to talk about with that? Um, you said something about um, being attracted to under 18. I can't remember. Yeah, you go yeah, you got to go by, you know, yeah, talking about your ancestors. Um, your ancestors were having sex with girls under 18. Um, and it's uh, it's normal for a guy. I don't know any straight guy out there uh, who whoever looked at a 17-year-old girl and said, oh, no, it's, she's a child. Like, you know, if she's beautiful, she's beautiful. It's natural. If anyone who tells you it's not natural, they're either lying to you or they're gay or they're a woman because a lot of women don't understand how guys are when it comes to this topic. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I saw a video about that. And um, so basically, like, in, in the UK, there's this thing called a nonce, which is basically like a pedophile or whatever. Isn't it? And they have groups of people that go out and they hunt these nonces. So they set them up, they pretend to be children, and then they, they say, oh, meet me here. And then they go and basically citizens arrest them. So I saw a video about our men all pedophiles. It was basically saying that, um, as a human being, right, you don't look at someone and think, oh, um, are they 17 or 18? You just find them attractive, exactly what you're saying. Um, right. Yeah, so that video, I don't know if you've seen it. I think you said you've seen it before. That one makes quite a lot of valid points in that. No, I never played uh, the, I never played, I, I know the video, uh, are all men pedophiles. I never played it. I'm against pedophilia, just so you know. Uh, yeah, pedophilia yeah, is not, it's not normal and it's uh, it's wrong. It's horrible yeah. and disgusting. Um, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, but, you know, girls don't become women at 18. I mean, I don't understand how so many people are brainwashed into thinking girls become women at 18. And then some of these same people will tell you it's wrong. Oh, it's wrong. Oh, they're children. Oh, they don't know any better and all that. And then the same guys will either have a girlfriend under 18 or message a girl online, flirt with her who's under 18, or they'll put on teenage porn where the girl pretends to be like a student or a cheerleader or a babysitter or something like that. Or, you know, they do something where there's a contradiction. Uh, like they just check out girls under 18 and they tell you it's not normal if, if someone else has sex with a girl under 18. Yeah, because you know what? In that thing, yeah, it was saying something along the lines of the most searched porn was teen porn. So like 18 to 19 or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's actually one of the most popular porns out there, yeah. Um, I, you know, a lot of people contradict themselves, man. They say they believe in religion. Their religion doesn't say girls become women at 18 or guys are only supposed to want girls that were 18 and over. Science doesn't say girls become women at 18 or that guys should only want girls 18 and over. It's just a stu even the laws. Even, you know, sometimes I get this argument like, oh, it's against the law. No, it's not. In most of America, the law is not 18. In the UK, it's 16. Uh, people just, uh, you know, even what's com com common sense? If a beautiful girl walks past most guys, most guys who are straight are going to check her out, you know? I don't understand why people are in denial about this. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I they, obviously, there's a difference, though, like, between, like, going for it and then just observing. Because at the end of the day, right, you can't really control what you find attractive, but you can control whether you're going to go after the girl. Like, there's certain, like, even if the girl is of, of age, if you are a certain age gap above the girl, you shouldn't be checking out no girl. Like me as a 28-year-old man should not be, even if the legal age is 16, what am I doing messing around with a 16-year-old? My girlfriend's 15. No, no, that, that's okay if you don't want to. I, I'm not knocking you for not wanting to. Who would you like? But if someone was 28 and they fell for a girl who was 16 and they fell in love and they got married, why am I going to punish a guy and put him in jail for 12-year difference? No, no, no. But the thing is, in the UK, you want to be um, set, you want to go to prison if you if you met a girl that's of age sixteen in this country and you married her or whatever, you want to go to jail or nothing like that. You just be heavily frowned upon. So uh, for yeah, some people, right, right, and and I'm, right, and, but here, but in some places, you 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 know, you depending on the law, you could go to jail in some places. And even if you don't, the frowned upon. Why are people punishing guys for being normal? Then it's normal. There's a difference between a 17-year-old girl and a seven-year-old child. It's not the same thing. Oh, obviously. Yeah, obviously, obviously. But, like, if you're 28, like, what have I got in common with a 16-year-old girl to be talking about? Well, like, I mean, first of all, my girl is older than me and she ain't even on my level. So for me to go for a 16-year-old, like, no way. I can't even be uttering that in no... In no no, like some well, teenager. Yeah, there's a, there's a, well, there's a couple of there's a couple of things wrong. 
there's a couple of things wrong with your argument. First, as you just pointed out, you could have something not in common with someone who's similar to your age. So that has nothing to do with 16 or 26 or 30 or 100. Lots of people you can meet, you may not have something in common with. Secondly, yeah. um, there are lots of people in this world who have a big age gap and they have things in common and they fall in love and they're happy. Third, you, you could have said the same thing about 18 year old girls. 18 is legal. You could say, what do I have in common with an 18 year old? I mean, you, you yeah. could ask these questions for any group. The, the point I'm making is, there are some people who are happy, there's no abuse, there's no rape, they have lots of things in common, and they did nothing where the guy should be to jail. Why should they put a guy in jail for being normal then? Right, all right. So in this world, yeah, there's some things yeah, that are morally correct and still illegal, and some things that are illegal, but morally uh, correct, if I said that right. See, let, let's say, for example, you've got a man who steals bread for his family that are hungry, right? I don't think you should throw that man in jail. I think you should help that man. But then again, you've got there's certain men out here. I've seen it on TV. They have been friends with a man for years. And he's basically had his eye on that little girl. And now that she's legal, he's started to mess about with her. That's wrong in my eyes. Now, that's legal, but that's still um, morally incorrect. How can you be watching a girl from the age of, like she's six years old or something like that, and when she turns 16, 17 and she's legal, now you're gonna get into a relationship with her. That's- Well, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I mean you could be right, but I, I, I don't think most guys, I don't know the guys you're talking about, but I don't think most guys would look at a six-year-old child and like, oh, I wanna be with her, but I'm gonna wait. I think what probably happened was, he didn't think anything about her. Oh, she's a child. And then she grew up and then he liked her. That's probably what happened. Yeah, but your morals should kick in. Why are you dealing with your friend's daughter in the first place? Uh, forget about the age thing. Oh, that, no, oh that, no, yeah, that that I understand. That I understand. But you know, honestly, man, if the girl wants to be with the guy and the guy wants to be with the girl and there's no victim, you don't put a guy in jail for that, do you? Is she Is she legal? Uh, to, well, my topic is whether they're legal or not. You don't put a guy in jail. Well, no, well, hold on, wait, wait, wait. If they're not legal, then yeah, they need to go to jail. Because at the end of the day, right, even if you find that girl attractive, if she's under the age, you know what? Yeah, she might be attractive, but she's under age. So There's what? Really women out there. Nah, at the end of the day, right, what, it, what's, what's, what's more worth it? Your freedom or, 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 or your happiness, like, because you want to be well, with I, that girl? I, I, I'm you know, I'm, I'm from America, man, so freedom is very important. We, we here in America believe in innocent until proven guilty, even though we don't apply it. Obviously, there's lots of people who go to jail who are innocent, um, but you don't put innocent people in jail for being normal. That's wrong. I actually thought you agreed with me, but it seems like you're saying you don't mind putting people in jail even if they're innocent? If a girl is under age, yeah, at the end of the day, we have to stick to the law. So if I move to another country and the legal age of consent is 21, I'm not talking to no 20 year old girls. I'm staying within, um, you know, the legal ages, no matter what I think. Yeah. I'm not going to jail with so no, you know, no girl, you mad. So if they, if they made a law, no, I'm not saying you should break the law. Don't break the law. But I'm saying, you're saying if they made a law that made it illegal to be with a 20 year old, and somebody was with a 20 year old, a 20 year old girl, you don't mind putting the guy in jail? Me, I want to put the guy in jail, but at the end of the day, right, you need to stick within the law. And if you don't like it, you're going to have to move country. Now, obviously, unfortunately, no, that's fine. No, no, I know, but, but they have a such thing as laws that are wrong. Like you as a black man should know, they have laws that are wrong historically, and they sometimes don't have a law, and they should. They, they, the laws are wrong for not having a law or for having a law sometimes, depending on the topic. If they said, oh, 14 year old girls are now the the legal, the, the, the legal age or whatever in it, I don't business because at the end of the day, I'm not dealing with no 16 year old girl anyway, although she's legal. I'm too old for her mentally. Yeah, we ain't gonna that, yeah, that, no, but, yeah, but remember, but remember, my topic is not what you like. My topic is what's normal. It's normal for a guy to, to want a young girl. I'm sure if a beautiful girl in high school or college passed you by, you would check her out. And if you found someone who was mentally smart, straight A student, had a job, very mature, and you were single, I have no reason to think that you would say, oh, I'm not going to be with you. If the girl likes you and you like her, you're going to be with her, man. You know. well, yeah, but my track record is always going out with older girls anyway. So most of my ex, 
uh, past girls have always been older than me anyway, five years, seven years, eight years. That's fine, but when you, when, you get, when you get married, we'll find out if you marry someone older. Most guys don't marry girls who are older than them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's normal, like, let's say, for example, I'm 28. It's all right if a 28-year-old guy goes out with a 20-year-old girl and stuff, but they're both adults. They're both kind of on the same page. All right, yeah, he's eight years older than her, but she's still at an age where she's probably just about graduated. She's going to be in the working world and stuff. But me as a 28-year-old, I'm going to be 30 next year, you know. I'm going to be 29 in September, 30 in next September. Me as a 30-year-old man should not be outside no school gates. Yeah, no, that's okay. No, I, no, I, no. I, I'm not saying that you should go out with someone younger than you. You do what you like, man. Be free. I'm just saying, if two people make a choice, don't punish them. They shouldn't go to jail for being normal. You know. Listen, if it's within, if it's within the law, like let's say 16 is the the legal age, and that if a if a 30 year old man wants to go about with a 16 year old boy, that's on you. Yeah, I don't throw him in jail if he's within the law. But me, I am not. If I had a friend that was 30 years old or 28 and he's in a relationship with a 16, I'm like, bro, what are you doing, fam? <laughs> what value can this girl bring to your life? At no, but age I, no, but, no, but I, I, don't, I don't understand. You're, you're telling me basically um, if something is illegal, it's okay. Like anytime they make a law on anything, it's okay with you? Uh, uh, expand, ex expand on that then. Well, because you, you've been saying over and over, hey, it's illegal, don't do it, don't break the law, it's illegal, uh, just stay within the law and all that. Um, I, I'm, I, my topic is not about whether it's the law or not. We know it's against the law. My topic is it's an unjust law. They're punishing people for being normal. I mean, just because you like something don't mean you have to go for it. Yeah, all right, let's say, for example, the legal but, but, aid. But no, hang on, hang on, hang on. But just because you don't like something doesn't mean you have to punish other people. My friend, if a man is looking at 15-year-old girls, bro, you need to start looking at girls older. There's millions of girls in on, on this planet. Yeah, You will pass thousands that's, of girls. That's, 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 that's great. There's millions of girls, but that's good for you. Not everyone is you. Not everyone likes what you like. You said you like older girls. That's great. You have a girlfriend who's older than you. That's great. Most guys don't want an older girlfriend. Most guys want someone younger. As you said earlier, teen porn is some of the most popular porn or the most popular porn in the world. You can't just ignore what your ancestors did because you brought up ancestors for meat you can't yeah. just ignore your religion you can't just ignore science and you can't just ignore what's normal and then say hey well i like girls who are older so everyone else should do what i do yeah no, yeah yeah and you know what you're right about what the ancestors used to do because apparently now i don't believe in god yeah but at the end of the day the bible and christianity the, the bible is a documented book whether it's fact or fiction whether i think it's fiction but um, apparently, although they didn't document the girl's age, apparently Mary was between the age of 12 and 15. Now, if we, you know, mm -hmm. put that in our time, that would be illegal or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? But times have changed and, you know, we have to move with the times. So if the times are well, saying no, that... Time, no, uh, times have not changed. The law is not the same all over the world. It depends on what state and what country. People yeah, make yeah. up random laws for random reasons. If, you're, if you don't believe in God and you're atheist, then I assume you go by science. If you go by science... There is nothing in science that says girls become women at 18 or guys should only like girls 18 and over. That's just a random made up number. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. But the reason why they do this is because they don't want older men interfering with young girls because that will mess up their education. And that. If girls are in school and they're pregnant at 16, more than likely, they're not going to uni. They're not getting a good job. They're not setting themselves up. You're better off having a kid when you're 30 years old than 16. Well, uh, first of all, if, uh, well, first of all, if you there's two things wrong with this argument. If you say this is the reason, aside from the fact you're just assuming everyone in the world made the law for the same reason at the same time, aside from the girls who are 16 have sex and get pregnant all the time, Usually they have sex with girls, guys in high school. They don't usually go around with 30 year old guys. They're usually yeah. having sex with guys in high school. And if you say they want the people to stay away from young girls, if that were true, they wouldn't make the law 16. They'd make it like 21 or 28 or 30 or 40. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, it's best if young girls who are 16 that don't get pregnant at those ages and that because they're gonna damage their futures. So yeah, maybe they should extend with them. Um, so what's but I'm, but I'm curious the 16 year olds it's legal 
that you can have sex with 16 year olds right now. So when you say they want you to stay away from young girls, no, they don't. They let you stay, they let you be around young girls. And secondly, let's say, let's say I'm wrong. Let's say you're right. They want you to stay away from all the young girls and they made the law 30. Let's say they made the law 30 tomorrow. The girls in high school are still having sex and getting pregnant with other guys in high school. More likely a girl in high school will have sex with someone in high school or college, not with some 30 year old guy, most likely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, what's more likely to happen? Is the girl more likely to have sex? If she was going to have sex with somebody, who would it most likely be with? Would it be with the yeah. guy in high school and college yeah. or a guy who's 30 or 100, you know, and so on? It's going to be with some yeah. her, usually around her age. Yeah, we were with one of her peers, but <laughs> the problem with older men going with young girls is they could manipulate them in a way where they don't really want to you know, be with a, a 30 year old man, but the, the man's offering her money and stability and stuff. And he's trying to, you hear about all these guys grooming girls and stuff like that. So that's, okay. that's right. so one there, of the there's, two, there's, there's more holes in your argument. First of all, who's more likely to use a girl, a guy in high school or a 30 year old? Guys in high school are horny, they're immature. They tell girls all lies just to get them to have sex. More guys in high school use girls than older guys. Secondly, Guys can use a girl no matter what her age. They can use a girl 17, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. It happens all the time. Third, a guy who's older is probably more likely to treat her better. Girls will tell you all the time, oh, I don't go out with guys my own age because they're immature. Guys who are older are much more mature. And an older guy might have might be like, damn, I got a young, beautiful girl. This might be my last chance. Or I'm going to try to treat her really like a princess. Um, and what about the people who don't use girls? You, you can't just ignore all that and assume that most of these guys are grease balls who are going to use all these girls. Boy, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. At the end of the day, right, men just need to find girls that are within their age range. Yeah, maybe like three or... What's, what's, like, what's, 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 their, what's their age range? Well, it, it, all, it all depends on how old they are as well. You know? Like if you're what's, the random, like, what, what's the random... What's the random... What's the random number age range you come up with, and how do you come up with it? Like you have to look at every situation and every person's age differently. So if a man's 40 years old, yeah, he can date women who are 30, 20 years younger than him, and maybe 20 years older than him if he wants. But if a guy wait, so he can is, date, wait, hold on. So he, 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 he can date 20-year-olds? If a 20-year-old is interested in a 50-year-old man, that's up to them. That's up to okay, them. But how, about a 19, how, how, about, how about a 19-year-old? All right, there is a cutoff point, you know. You mean, I mean, like, you know, the rain, rain starts and ends somewhere in here, so there is a cutoff point. So I'll say, yeah, boom. Says who, no, but says who? No, but says who? This is just a random thing that you came up with. You know, one of yeah. the reasons people do horrible things in the world, one of the reasons people do horrible things in the world is because people don't go by the facts and science. They go by whatever they like. Like, even, even when I talk to you, I gave you a bunch of reasons why it's wrong to punish guys, and I can tell you get it. Like you're not fighting and being a jerk, you're taking information. But then when I'm done, you go, I don't know, man, guys should just be with someone their own age. Like it just, it, everything goes out the window and we go back to square one because it's a matter of being brainwashed. Society and the media have told you it's wrong, it's pedophilia, it's abuse, it's, it's disgusting. And you've been brainwashed by it, man. It's, you know, it's normal. You, you're a guy, you know, it's normal to check out a young, beautiful girl. You know that. My friend, girls, like when I was in school, there were some girls going through um, puberty and that um, at age 10 and stuff like that. I don't mean that they're right. ready to be reproducing, yeah, just because, because remember, yeah, human beings back in the day didn't live as long, you know, we were dying at age 20 and 30 and that. But now we're living until what, 80 years old, plus or minus. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about even your parents and grandparents' days. They were, the, the laws were way under 16. This is not just like caveman days. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, my grandparents ain't that old, so. Yeah. Right, exactly. What I'm saying is these laws, you can't just say, well, this is a long time ago. They were living lesser. Uh, society has changed. No, these laws were not that different. You could, you could be with someone under 18 not that long ago. It was in your parents' and grandparents' days. Mm, yeah. But it, it, I, 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 still, I still have got no justification why it's okay to punish guys. You gave the example of a 10-year-old. I'm not saying be with 10-year-olds. That's, that's a, I'm, I'm, if, you, if you say 10 is wrong, I'm with you. But that doesn't mean if you're saying a 10-year-old might have her period 
and she might get pregnant and she might be one of the rare exceptions of someone who's blossomed faster. That has nothing to do with 16. 16 is definitely a woman, man. There's no, there's, it's a biological fact. We are young women. Yeah, they might be like biologically mature, but they're not mature in their head. Okay, so then when did they become mature in their heads? What's the magical number? Uh, everyone's different. Exactly. Everyone's, That's but, my but, but, exactly. Around about twenty-one, then let's throw in a figure, say twenty-one, roughly. Okay, so if you said so, that means you think the law should be twenty-one. Yeah, well, <laughs> why am I trying to trip man up? I understand what you're saying, in it, but. <sighs> By the way, even, even if even if even if you really believe that they're not mentally mature, which there's no study, there's nothing out there that says they're not mature. Um, you're ignoring the fact that they do a lot of things out there that children. Let, let's say you believe they're children, okay? They're children and they're not mature. Then you should be consistent. Children should not have a job. They should not drive a car. They should not be a supermodel. They should not be in beauty pageants. They should not be like Kobe Bryant and play in the NBA at 17 against Michael Jordan. They should not be um, dressing sexually. They should not be having boyfriends. They should not be um, trialed as an adult if they murder somebody. I could give you a million examples where people contradict themselves. They'll say, oh, they're children when they have sex. And then they'll say they're adults and everything else. It's a contradiction, man. Yeah, yeah, Bob. Me personally, I'm just going to stick to girls who are roughly around my age range, yeah? A few years old. Yeah, I, respect years old. I, I, I respect that, man. But when you get married, when you get married, I no, would I, love to know yeah. who you're married because I doubt you're going to marry somebody who's older than you. I doubt it. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I ain't getting married anyway. Yeah, I don't believe in that business. So. Oh, well, good for you, man. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Yeah, but no, man, it's it's normal, man. Um, you know, if, if if you believe that they're not mature, then this means you're saying to me that all 16-year-olds are not as smart as all 18-year-olds. That doesn't make sense. There's plenty of 16-year-olds who have straight A's, who don't drink, who don't, who don't smoke. What was that? I'm saying there's 16-year-olds that might be smarter than me, but that don't mean I'm going to be dealing with no 16-year-old just because she's smarter than me. That's okay. I remember my, my time. Topic is not. I want you to go out with a sixteen-year-old. That ain't my topic. You go out with whatever you like. If you want to go out with a TV set, that's all good. I'm just saying to you that. Uh, well, don't go out with a TV set. I'm joking, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you know that. But I'm saying to you, it's normal. You can't punish a guy for being normal. It's biologically normal for him to want a young, beautiful girl. If there's actually there's actually a biological reason because they're fertile, they can give birth. There's a reason why guys are not attracted to a hundred-year-old women. I'm sure there's some guy who wants a 100-year-old woman, but the point is most guys want someone young and beautiful. It's normal. Um, there's lots of people who are young and very mature. They don't drink. They don't smoke. They don't do drugs. They get straight A's. They have a job. They drive a car. They help their single-parent mom in the house. Um, they don't get into fights, things like that. And then meanwhile, you have 18-year-old girls who drink, who smoke, who don't have a job, who, who fight with their parents, who don't help around their house. They, they, they have sex without condoms. I'm not saying that's dumb, but I'm just saying they're not as mature as some 16 year olds. They get arrested, they, they're rude, you know, a bunch of things. They maybe they, they, maybe they don't help their single parent, uh, parent then. Uh, there's plenty of people who are mature and immature. You can't just label everybody as all being stupid or all being smart, you know? Yeah, but the thing is, right, a man could be 30 years old and yeah, let's say 16 is the legal age, but what if he wants a woman that can go hard with him on a mortgage and stuff like that. So it's not all about just sexual maturity and that. Maybe a man don't want to mess with a girl that's 16 because she ain't got nothing to bring to the table at the same time. That, that, yeah, then the, yeah, but that's his choice. I'm not saying every guy should be with someone young. I'm saying yeah. if somebody wants to be with someone beautiful and young and they're happy, maybe the guy wants to provide. Maybe he wants to be the man where he comes home and brings the money and she stays home and raises the kids. Maybe she works and he stays home. Maybe they both stay home. Maybe they both work. I don't know. I don't care. To be honest, everyone's different. I'm just saying don't punish people. Don't put them in jail and ruin their lives. There's so many stories out there, man, of who, girls who will say, don't punish the guy. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't rape me or anything like that. And they still put the guy in jail. Was the girl underage or not? Sometimes there are, yeah. Uh, I'll give you a great example of a stupid law in Texas. In, 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 you, know, you know what the law is, isn't it? So 
Whether you're sexually attracted to, I'm saying like, whether they are sexually attracted to girl or, or not, it, it, it don't matter. You know what the law is. So yeah, you might be attracted to a girl that's underage because when, this is the thing I was saying this to my girlfriend the other day, right? During half term, if you're driving around, you, because as adults, we don't know when it's like, when the semester's over, yeah? So when it's half term and the, the school kids are not out, you, from up, down the road, you don't know if that's a woman or or, or, or like a 16-year-old girl. So you're going to look at that. So, yeah, you could make the mistake and think, oh, this girl's of age and, and she's under. But once you find out, don't deal with her. Find someone else. That's, that's, that, that's legal, right, no, isn't it? No but, no, but, no, but again, you're telling me what you think should happen, and that's fine. I'm not saying you're wrong. You can think whatever you want and tell advice people whatever you want. I'm not saying to you that you should do something or you should not do something. I'm saying to you, the law is wrong. They're punishing innocent people, man. If there was a law that said black people couldn't marry white people, you wouldn't say, well, hey, the law is a law. Don't break it then. It's an unjust law, man. If the girl is underage, you have to just stay away. I mean, you know, if you don't, like, it's unfortunate when some of these footballers deal with girls who are 15 and they didn't know because the 15-year-old girl was in the club where you're supposed to be 18 and they get done right. up, they, that, that, that's unfortunate. That happens, but... I mean, if you know right. how old the girl, boy, you just have to stay away in it. No, but no, 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 but no, I, no, I, no, I, no, I'm not saying, I, I agree with you. Don't break the law, but that's not my topic. My topic is it's an unjust law. Do, are you telling me that anytime something is a law, it's justified? I mean, you can't agree with every single law and that, but I mean, that, that one there, I'm going to stay clear away from that because I'm not getting myself into no trouble. So... Yeah, no, that, that, that's okay. That's okay. You don't, no, if you don't have a take, that's fine. If you want to stay away from fine, but it sounds like you disagree with me, and it sounds like you're saying it's okay to put the guy in jail. And so far, I haven't gotten any justification. There's even a guy in your chat room with the word "no." His no, no, uh, name is "no." He keeps making yeah. fun of me and labeling me as a, a weirdo pedophile, like I'm a strange person, all that. Notice he hasn't given me any justification on how he's right and I'm wrong. Then. A lot of people are just brainwashed. This is the same guy who was writing about the UN and people are sheep or brainwashed or something. He's literally brainwashed. Literally. I mean, there's no religion that says he's right. No science says he's right. No law in general says he's right. A bunch of things says he's wrong. And he wants to act like I'm brainwashed and I'm sheep and I'm the weirdo and I'm strange. No, uh, no. You're brainwashed. You're the weirdo. You're strange. You're the one that's being sheep then. To the guy in the chat room. By the way, man, uh, do, do you mind if I? It's your program. Uh, if you say no, I will 100% respect that. Do you mind if I tell people that they can come debate me on my program? Is that okay with you? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. If, if for, all, for, for all, thank you, thank you, thank you. For all you online tough guys and online smart guys and online smart girls and online smart uh, tough girls, if you if you want to debate me on something, you're welcome to come on my program. I have a very popular page. If you want to come on my program, go to my page and send me an email then. I got more than one page, so in, just so you can find me fast, uh, I'll give you one of the pages. T go on YouTube and type, Michael Jordan fans are the worst NBA fans in. You should find my page then. So if you want to come on, you're welcome to come on then. You know. Yeah. All right, and you're out though, yeah? Uh, it's up to you, man. I'm happy to stay, uh, but if you want to hang up on me, that's up to you. It's your yeah, show. No, uh, I know how it is. Now. I'm supposed to get through all of these conspiracy theories, man, and this list is still quite long. So, yeah, I'm going to let you go, yeah? Okay, then. All right. Uh, so, man, if you ever want to come on my show, you're welcome to come on, too. And I want to let you know, man, the way you conduct yourself, I really respect it. Uh, you're very nice. You're not. You're, you're not. You're respectful. You're not a jerk. You give people plenty of time. You're, you, you take in the information. You're patient. Uh, you're not rude. You know you know how to be professional. My only disappointment, this is my only disappointment in you. I feel like you take in the information and take in the information and take in the information and then you jump ship and you go you act like you don't agree then. <laughs> That's just my only disappointment with you then. You know? Yeah, because at the end of the day, right, I can still like, acknowledge what someone says and see from their perspective, but then I still have my opinion or my beliefs. When I say beliefs, I don't mean anything to do with religion, but I can still, oh yeah, I can understand where you're coming from in that angle. But I still think this, like with the meat thing. But there's a difference. Whatever. No, but but there's a difference. If, if I called your show and I said, "Hey, buddy, my opinion is America is better than United Kingdom," that that that's something you don't have to agree with because it's an opinion. There's no reason mm -hmm. to say you're right or wrong or disagree or agree. It's an opinion. But when I give you facts 
has pretty much everything I've given you is facts. I'm not saying it's 100% factual. I, I, I'm sure I gave you opinions too then, but pretty much the things we disagree on, I'm going by facts. If you disagree with those facts, that's the disappointing part. Cause I, I feel like you understand those are facts, but it's like, why does he still disagree then? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then, man, I'll let you go, yeah? Uh -huh. All right, All right, man. See. Thanks for putting me on. Man. Uh, good luck to your program, man. Uh, stay safe. Have fun. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. All right, see you.